Well, a very good morning to you. It's six o'clock on television New Zealand, and uh, wherever you are around the country, we'd like to welcome you along to our broadcast this morning. So I, uh, I first met Joe about 15 years ago, and I think we've been pretty much together ever since then. But then the earthquakes came along. I'd been the mayor on Banks Peninsula for a couple of terms, and then we merged with the city and I became the mayor here. And uh, we had the first of the earthquakes in 2010, 7.1. We were in this building and it was very violent. And Joe was downstairs, uh, went downstairs just before the quake, and I was upstairs and it was terrible being separated at that moment when we thought, well, we may not survive this. And uh, so post that moment, we just said, well, in this earthquake environment, we are just gonna stay physically close together the whole time. We just don't wanna be part of, don't, don't want you working somewhere else. So we, we decided we'd stay together and work together and do everything together. And that's pretty much the way it's been. And while I was the mayor of uh, the city, Joe took on the role of being the, the mayoress. The, uh, the earthquake sequence actually began in 2010, September 2010, when we had a 7.1 uh, magnitude quake further up the plains, about 35 kilometres from here. And it did a lot of damage and there was a lot of uh, liquefaction in the city and uh, people were very shaken. So we thought, what a, why don't we just throw a big free concert in a safe open place like Hagley Park. And uh, being a good Christchurch lad, uh, I was uh, a great fan of the band The Bats. So when we were putting together the list of people for the concert, um, I suggested that The Bats had to be in there. And sure enough, we, we put them in the mix and um, they heard that I'd asked for them to play. And uh, they asked if I would like to play one of the songs with them. And, I said, yeah, I, I, I love North by North. So I said, well, you learn, the, uh, learn that little intro part of the song and um, we'll get you to play on the stage with us. Well, I couldn't believe it, you know. So I've now got on my CV in front of 120,000 people. Um, the first seven years that um, we knew each other, um, I refused to cook. Well, I mean, I didn't actually verbally refuse to cook, but I didn't really have an interest. So. Um, when Bob and I moved into this warehouse environment and we um, built a new kitchen and we could make it exactly how we wanted it, all of a sudden I was loving cooking, so we just kind of... My um, cunning plan worked. Yeah. <laughs> so. Up until then I was a dab hand with soups. So I lived in an old house on Banks Peninsula and it had a big wood-fired range and I was batching a lot of the time there, so I, I learned how to do soups and I would just put this big boiler on the wood-burning stove and I would feed it with vegetables and make a stock and then you would kind of renew it every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was really the limit, I have to say, of, of my cooking ability. I'm chairing a, an amazing joint venture at the moment, which is building uh, residential uh, properties in Christchurch. We're building a commercial building as well. And that's a, a joint venture with a Chinese company, a 50-50 JV. And I love that, I love urbanism. It's one of the reasons I got into local government and one of the reasons that I stood for mayor in Christchurch. And we wanted to really get the central city alive and thriving again. And of course the earthquakes have meant that it's, it's a total rebuild. And that's created a lot of opportunities. So I'm now focused on that. I've been working in Sydney where I've chaired a, uh, an independent authority looking at urban development and some new parts of Sydney, that's been a great privilege. And uh, travel around, do a bit of uh, guest speaking here and there. And that's pretty much how I've been uh, making my way since the quakes. Jo, generally, you're generally with me? Yep. Jo's been working on her, uh, finishing her masters for um, her study, which yep. she got with flying colors. So we're, we're, I think we've been productive. And, and we're now finally 
doing some work on the warehouse because that just had to sit in the background for a long time and so we're now in the process of DIYing ourselves into Valhalla as they might say.